Hey, good morning guys, it's Mac here. Today I just want to do a quick tutorial for you, show you guys really easily how you can go ahead and participate in Osmosis Governance. This tutorial actually works for both Osmosis, Secret, and the, any other IBC network that is integrated into Kepler Wallet. And if you don't know what Kepler Wallet is, Kepler Wallet is a plugin wallet for Chrome or Brave or Firefox browser. I believe that pretty much any browser that supports plugins has a Kepler extension. They also have an application for the iPhone, so you can vote directly from your iPhone. Now, in order to get the Kepler application, all you have to do is simply just Google Kepler Wallet, find it on the Chrome store. Okay, so I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but you can see here. So from there, if you wanna go ahead and get the full screen Kepler experience, you can actually go right up here and I'm in my demo account right now and it doesn't actually show you a way to go ahead and go into Kepler wallet but the really easy way to do it is to just hit stake and then it'll take you to the full page view from there you can if you want to vote for various various protocols right now it looks like I can go to co governance and it looks like the the voting period for the cosmos one has ended osmosis for governance as you can see here I've actually already voted but if you want to vote again you can if you want to go ahead and take a look at this latest proposal and you can read about it here I've already read about it so I approve of this proposal it looks like a lot of people approve of it it's a basically a blockchain upgrade it fixes a lot of technical issues and makes the platform just a lot more seamless and have a better user experience it looks like they're, they're raising the requirement of the memory to 64 gigabytes. So I'm gonna vote yes for this proposal. I already voted yes, so I'm gonna vote no. And so I can vote again, and then I could switch it back to yes. And I think no with veto, I think you can't, I don't know if you can re-vote or not, but I'll probably just switch it back to yes after this tutorial. So now I'm just gonna go back, switch back to yes, and hit approve. And that's it. It's pretty easy to go ahead and vote for any of these different blockchains on the left here using the Kepler wallet. I really like how seamless the user, the, I really like how seamless the integration is with Kepler wallet. It's really great. Anyways, thank you guys for viewing. I hope this helped you and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.